Hi YouTube, it's Kaya Milan here coming to you with a new video on industry etiquette and curbing the BS. This is to do with the music industry and it's part of my series Music Industry 101 which is also on my blog and I'll put a link to it in the description box. So yeah, literally I wrote this post and it was kind of off a few different things that happened over the space of like a week and I really felt like my time was disrespected and it was like you know loads of different things going on so it kind of started off as a rant and then I thought actually maybe I can use this in a positive way and give some advice to people in the creative industries especially in the music industry so as you know from my get to know you tag I um, work in the music industry and I would say I've always struggled because I'm kind of half and half in terms of like I'm creative but I'm academic so in the sense where you know I've been in the music industry as you know like my whole life and like kind of coming full circle in terms of working and actually you know working as part of a business and there's an excuse within the music industry that we're creative so you know we don't have to live by the normal social rules of the, pop, the general population I guess does that even make sense basically by the normal rules so like and what people don't seem to understand is the music industry is a business it's not just a place where you can just throw out all your emotions onto paper and then make a song like it's actually a business if you want to make money in the music industry which some people don't if you do want to make money in the music industry then there's certain ways that you have to do things, certain things that you actually have to do, certain obligations that you have to fulfill. If you're if you're in the music industry, that's your full-time job, it's not just your side hustle. Like producers, it is a very well-known fact that producers, once you have your studio session, they go missing with tracks and stems and like logic files. And it's like I've paid you for my session and now I've got to wait how many months to actually get my track and it people think because they have a certain reputation in the industry it doesn't matter about being professional but you can also ruin your reputation by doing stuff like that like every unsigned artist that I know has at one point in time had to chase producers for their tracks and it's like it's not okay it's not okay to you know go ghost like once you've done someone's track and when they're trying to chase you up about it you're not picking up your phone you're not answering emails like, it's really unprofessional and it's like it seems like it's just the etiquette of the industry but it's not okay like I shouldn't be chasing you up for tracks and seeing you doing snapchat like image image gang I shouldn't be seeing that like it's not cool it's not okay and it's just a whole load of BS and then to say oh I've been busy no you're, you're never that busy not to reply to my text even if you can't give me the track you haven't finished it at least be up front and say oh I haven't finished the track oh, I'm gonna get it to you by this time but just to not actually reply is just so rude it's so rude and it's so disrespectful and it, people do it all the time dare to be different when you're in the music industry you get sucked in in terms of you think you have to um, conform to how the industry is and that's not necessarily the case maybe become a producer and be on your job and actually you know do things that you say you're gonna do reply to text reply to emails be professional about it you don't necessarily have to come into this industry and completely conform and say yeah I'm just gonna not answer my phone for like five days and then come back like yeah sure like oh yeah I'll send you a track like it's not that's not okay and I think it's really something that needs to be um, addressed a common music industry myth is that interacting people solely on your level or above is the way to making it and it's not necessarily the case if someone reaches out to you and they might have 50 followers but they want to reach out to you to maybe work with you or just praise you the least you could do is like give them the time of day and either reply to them and let them know that maybe you're not interested at this time in a nice way or just just have that conversation interact with them if someone's tweeted you like oh I think you're really sick I'd really like to work with you and you listen to their stuff maybe on SoundCloud and you're not really feeling it maybe as yours maybe in a slightly higher position maybe give them some advice and it's like making it in the industry and acting brand new is like 
an accepted practice like you suddenly get to a certain level and people are texting your phone you've got like a thousand emails sitting in your inbox you've got um, 126 text messages and unopened text messages and I don't know I live in London and we have the underground which is like the subway and um, we have Wi-Fi on the underground so you can't call well, you can you know you can FaceTime audio but you can't do anything else apart from listen to music whilst you're on the underground reply to your texts like you have 126 unopened text messages reply to them there's no excuse in this day and age to have so many unopened messages it's a matter of laziness no one has that little time to like reply to maybe 10 messages like you have five minutes before you go to bed to look through your whatsapp messages look through your text messages and there's really no excuse when people like sit there on their phone with all their like notifications on like 50 and saying oh I don't have any time but whilst you're saying you don't have any time you can reply when I see you like on snapchat and tweeting it takes the same amount of time to write a tweet as it does to reply to a text message not replying to them is just rude like you're not you're not Beyonce yet like you're not on that level so and I think even Beyonce probably replies to her text messages spend literally like 20 minutes before you go to bed replying to your text messages and emails like it's literally if you're trying to be an artist in this game and in this industry interacting with people is part of it like if you don't want to interact with people you probably won't thrive like you have to interact with people replying to a text that could be the difference between a job and no job someone like Stormzy for example like he interacts with all his tweets like I could tweet him literally right now and he would either retweet it comment on it or just favorite it like he he's busy like he's someone who's really really busy in this industry at the moment and he has time to reply to people's tweets and like I'm sure he has time to reply to people's emails too and he's got you know a Sort of form of management and stuff like that so I feel like I feel like that's really important you know if you have time to like either send snapchat messages or DM people then you have time to reply to your messages like I really think it's just one of those things in this industry like it's such BS it's like an industry etiquette that makes absolutely no sense yeah, I just wanted to give you guys some advice um, if you're watching this and you're an aspiring artist or maybe you're already in the creative industry um, I just wanted to give you some tips so in terms of um, social media and communication I'd say when you get tweets interact with them even if it's just to favorite them just to acknowledge that you've actually seen them yourself that's like really important and it really like if you have genuine fans that really just makes them feel like they're a part of your journey in the music industry and those will become lifelong fans someone as i said i'm currently a fan of stormzy right now so yeah but um if stormzy has real like ride or die fans and that's because he keeps that social interaction like when he that, like is on snapchat he's not like doing image and like showing himself like in this amazing environment like he's like yeah i'm at home with my mom the jolla rice is on the fire <laughs> um and he interacts with people's tweets and he just acts like he's a normal person and really a lot of other people in the industry getting to that stage they would start acting brand new and it's like what does that really do for you in terms of creating those ride or die fans and establishing yourself in the industry um second of all don't let your messages pile up um yeah don't let your messages pile up like spend as i said before spend like 20 minutes at the beginning of the day or 20 minutes at the end of the day going through your emails going through your text messages and i'm um, trying to reply to them um my number one tip especially for people who are always on the move especially if you drive and stuff like that send voice notes like if you see someone's and they sent you a long paragraph be like uh, you sent me a long paragraph but I'm replying now but just literally send a voice note you don't even really have to be holding the phone like send a voice note you can do that either via whatsapp you can do that via iMessage like you can do that really easily work comes via email work comes via text and you not replying to them means that you don't want to work and this is a grind and this is a hustle and anyone that knows how the music industry works knows that you know any opportunity can come to you literally if it's via a tweet if it's via a text message if it's via a whatsapp 
call which I hate whatsapp calls but you know like why anything and you know a lot of people are like oh I turn my notifications off via whatsapp I'm like why if you don't want people to communicate with you or certain people to communicate with you don't send them your number <laughs> if you're poor at timekeeping I suggest that you probably get yourself a friend who can sort of assist you like so a personal assistant but that's actually your friend as you're on the come up um i'd say just get someone you trust and that you know and ask them to reply to your emails or at least um you know like sit down with you and actually do that with you and literally just someone you can like lighten the load for you because sometimes you know especially when, once you drop an amazing track and you get all this attention and stuff like that it might be really hard to keep up with but i definitely suggest like in the long run maybe getting a personal assistant but in the short term I definitely suggest getting a friend um, friends help with everything and I have had I've had the opportunity to be that friend to some people and also I've had the opportunity to have you know those friends help me manage the load like when things have got a bit too much I hope I don't sound really dead in this video I think this weather like it's really crappy and it's making me feel like <laughs> so <laughs> crap <laughs> like collapsed down yeah so I think this weather is making me feel super rubbish but um, I hope you enjoyed this post um, I literally like just to give everybody advice on how to thrive in this industry and I'm gonna go because it's my mum's birthday today and yeah I've got to get ready so happy birthday mum <laughs>